Okay, so this is a video for moms and dads to help teach kids catching and throwing. So we're gonna start with catching. Um, first thing I'm gonna show you guys is to use a balloon. So because balloons are lighter and they move slower, it just gives the child a little bit more time to react and catch, okay? So practice with the balloon first. Um, if you have a beach ball or something like that, that's also a little bit slower than a ball. Um, really encourage them to be looking, so making eye contact back and forth. You can use words like your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn, so that you're getting that back and forth engagement, okay? And then when you progress to a ball, what you want to see is children usually start catching by hugging it with their arms, and what we want to start to see is them catching just in their hands. So you can use cues like try not to let the ball touch your shirt or um, you know just hold it in your hands so that they're not hugging it and they're actually holding it in their hands and catching it like this okay okay the next thing i'm going to show you is throwing so i like to use a balled up sock that way if they throw at things in the house it's not going to break anything really simple easy to use um, what we want to teach the kids is throwing overhand and underhand okay so generally kids when they start to throw they use either an overhand or a sidearm flinging kind of motion. Um, overhand generally tends to come a little bit more naturally. In order to break the habit of the sidearm throw, what I like to do is put a child in like a doorway or something like that so they don't actually have room to throw sideways. They have to either throw underhand or overhand, okay? So again, somewhere in a doorway or something like that where they don't have the room to go sideways. Um, underhand, you can encourage that by doing things like bowling. So again, that teaches them this sort of motion as opposed to this sort of motion, okay? Okay, the last thing I wanna teach is encouraging the child to step forward with their opposite leg as they throw. So I don't have stickers, I've used tape, but what we're gonna do is put a piece of tape on their throwing hand and then the opposite foot. So that cues them, gives them a visual cue to step forward with a tape foot and throw with a taped hand. So tape and tape go together as they throw, they're stepping forward and throwing. Same thing with underhand, stepping forward and throwing. The two hand or the hand and the foot that has the tape goes forward. Okay, so that's how we encourage or teach um, the opposite arm and leg motion just to get that visual cue. Okay, so those are the cues for throwing and catching. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to email me.